guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarative and thank you for stopping by. This video is all about nipple piercings with regards to pregnancy and breastfeeding. So for those of you who don't know, I got both my nipples pierced six years ago and I've recently just given birth to my first child who I am breastfeeding. Over the last few months of pregnancy in particular, I got a lot of questions about nipple piercings with regards to my pregnancy and with regards to me wanting to be able to breastfeed my first child. So I decided to make this video to answer those questions and just to share a little bit of information in general about nipple piercings and breastfeeding. So I'm splitting this video into three main sections or three main questions which are can you breastfeed if you have your nipples pierced? How has pregnancy affected my nipple piercings? And what have I done with my nipple piercings since I've started breastfeeding? So do I still have them? Have I retired them? And if I have retired the piercings am I planning on getting my nipples re-pierced in the future? So without further ado let's just get straight into answering those questions. The first question I'll be answering is, can you breastfeed if you have your nipples pierced? So it seems to be a really common misconception that if you get your nipples pierced, this will stop you from being able to breastfeed in the future. This is not the case whatsoever. Getting your nipple pierced will not affect the ability for you being able to breastfeed. Now I'm not saying that everyone who has their nipple pierced and wants to breastfeed will be able to breastfeed in the future, but the same goes for people without nipple piercings. Unfortunately, not everyone who wants to breastfeed their baby will be able to, but this is nothing to do with if you have your nipple pierced or not. This is generally due to lack of milk supply or the ability of your baby being able to latch on correctly to your nipple. So yes, you can still breastfeed if you have your nipples pierced. This leads me onto a really crucial bit of information and this is the most important part of the whole video. For those of you out there who are planning on keeping their nipple piercings whilst breastfeeding their baby, you just need to remember to remove the jewellery before each breastfeeding session. If you were to keep the piece of jewellery in your nipple piercing whilst breastfeeding your baby, it does pose a potential choking hazard which can then obviously lead to dire consequences. So just remember to remove the piece of jewellery from your nipple piercing before each breastfeeding session and once your baby has finished feeding you can then put the jewellery back in. Now a lot of people actually decide to remove the piercing completely as they can't be bothered putting the jewellery in and out of their piercing multiple times throughout the day. Also as well whilst you are breastfeeding you can get really sore and sensitive nipples and so putting jewellery in and out before and after breastfeeding can just become hassle and a little bit of a pain for people so a lot of people decide to retire the piercing and then if you want to as long as they heal nicely and there's no scar tissue buildup you can then get your nipples re-pierced in the future. Now moving on to the second question, which is how did pregnancy affect my nipple piercings? So for me personally, as my pregnancy progressed, not only did my breasts enlarge, but also my nipples grew in size as well. So before I got pregnant, I was wearing 14 millimeter length barbells in each nipple piercing. And as I hit the third trimester, my nipples had grown so much that I had to upsize the length of the barbell. If I had left the size that I was wearing in originally, which was the 14 millimeter, because my nipples had grown so much, they would have encompassed the jewelry and they would have embedded, which is not a complication you want to experience whatsoever. So I had to remove the 14 millimeter length barbells in a timely fashion, and I put in 16 millimeter length barbells. I did actually think at one point near the end of the pregnancy that I might have even had to upsize to 18, but actually the 16 remained fine, and there was no complications with my nipple piercings since I upsized the jewelry. So for those of you who are either in the early stages of pregnancy, or for those of you who are planning on getting pregnant and have your nipples pierced, you might might find that you need to change the type of jewellery or the length of jewellery that you are wearing in them. For those of you who are worried about nipple piercings throughout pregnancy and you're not sure if you do need to upsize the jewellery, do just go to a local reputable piercer and they'll be able to help you. So that brings me on to the last part of this video, and that is answering the question, what have I done with my nipple piercings since starting to breastfeed? So a lot of people throughout my pregnancy had been asking me if I planned on keeping my nipple piercings, or if I planned to get rid of them before I started breastfeeding, and if I did plan on retiring them, would I get them re-pierced in the future? So throughout my entire pregnancy, not only did I want to keep my piercings throughout the pregnancy, but I also wanted to try and keep them whilst maintaining a breastfeeding relationship with my daughter. But I was very realistic in my expectations. Even though I really wanted to keep the piercings whilst breastfeeding, I know that nipples get sore and sensitive and can get swollen whilst you are breastfeeding. So I knew that I might not be able to actually, first of all, physically get the jewelry back in after removing it, but I thought it might be too uncomfortable and I might not want to keep removing the jewelry before feeding her and then putting it back in after each breastfeeding session. So the day finally arrived where my beautiful baby daughter was born. Within an hour of giving birth to her, we 
did skin to skin and she started breastfeeding. She started breastfeeding from the left nipple. So before she started feeding, I removed the barbell from my nipple piercing. She started feeding. I can't remember how long she was feeding for, but once she had finished, I then tried to put the jewelry back in my left nipple piercing. I managed to get the barbell in about a millimeter or two millimeters, but it just wouldn't budge any further. I pushed it. I tried to wiggle it back through. I even used lubrication to try and help ease it back through. But for the life of me, I just couldn't get it back in. I tried for a good five to 10 minutes, but it just wasn't happening. Now, since she had fed, my nipple, I think had got a little bit swollen. And so therefore, when I tried to put the jewelry back in, the piercing hole itself had enclosed a bit. It hadn't shrunk in that time or it hadn't closed completely in that time, but because of the swelling, it had made the piercing hole tighter. And so I just couldn't get the jewelry back in, which even though I was a little bit sad about, I wasn't distraught. I half expected that that would be the case. So the left side, unfortunately, I just couldn't get back in. Now, the same happened when I then fed her from my right nipple. Again, I removed the jewelry she fed. I tried to get it back in afterwards, but again, the same thing happened. I just couldn't get the jewelry back in. So as it stands right now, I don't have my nipple piercings in, which is a little bit sad, but oh well, I'm pleased I'm having a successful breastfeeding relationship with my daughter. That is much more important to me. However, as long as they heal nicely and there's no hard scar tissue buildup, 100% I want to get them re-pierced in the future. I loved having my nipples pierced. I loved the angle at which they were pierced at. I was completely happy with them. So as long as they heal nicely, I definitely plan on getting them redone in the future. But obviously I'll have to wait till I finish breastfeeding Laura. Now for me personally, I want to make sure that when I do get them re-pierced, that I don't plan on having any future children after that point. So I'll have to have a serious discussion with my husband and really have to think about it once we've finished or once I've finished breastfeeding Laura, if we want to have more children in the future, because I'd like to be completely done with having children and completely done with breastfeeding before getting my nipples re-pierced. Some of you might be wondering why. Well, the more times you get something pierced, the chances of scar tissue building up increases. And if you do pierce over scar tissue, especially if it's quite firm scar tissue, they tend not to heal as well if you get them redone at that point. So I only want to get them re-pierced once <laughs> and not have to do it multiple times in the future. So once I'm completely satisfied that we're both done with having children and I'm completely done with breastfeeding will be the point that I'll get them redone. So that brings me to the end of the video. I do hope you found it informative or at least a little bit interesting. If you did, then remember to leave it a thumbs up. If you do have any questions, then please ask away in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. I'd also be really interested to hear your personal experiences with nipple piercings and pregnancy or nipple piercings and breastfeeding. So please share your stories in the comment section down below. I'll be really interested to read it. If you aren't already and would like to see future videos from me in the future, then remember to hit that subscribe button down below. Do also remember Remember to turn on notifications so you can be notified when I post new videos in the future. So again, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I shall see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.